All right, I, I'm going to do a couple of examples of um, how to work series circuits. So this one says uh, three identical light bulbs are connected in series with a 9 volt battery. The current is 0.5 amps. What is resistance of each bulb? So I'm going to first draw my circuit. So I want my battery. The positive terminal of my battery is the longer one. And then we want three light bulbs. So one, two. And it doesn't really matter uh, where you draw them. Let me go here are my light bulbs, right? It's just uh, a resistor. In fact, this is why we draw the little squiggly line for resistors because um, drawing light bulbs is um, a little more difficult at any rate. So here's my series circuit. I have one path to follow, which makes this a series circuit. I have my three light bulbs and I have my battery. So I'm going to make a chart to keep all my information organized. So we are going to have our resistance, our current, and our voltage. And we have three bulbs. So for my resistance, I have the three unknown resistors and uh, what's been given to us in the word problem is my voltage, nine volts total. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom. So my bottom row is always gonna be my total and these are the other individual parts of my circuit. So the current is 0.5. So not so much information in here. I can um, solve for my total resistance and then back calculate what my individual resistors are. So in this case, uh, the rules for series are your resistance it total is equal to R1 plus R2. The more resistors you add in series, the more resistance you're going to have. The current in series, um, the total is the same as the current through each of, oh, equals, each of these resistors. So what this looks like that they're equal to each other in my chart is if I'm given my total, I also have my resist or my current, excuse me, for all of the other parts of my circuit in series. Right? In parallel, the rules are going to be a little bit different. So if I've been given my total, I can fill out this whole column for my current in series. And then my voltage total is going to be equal to my voltage used throughout the circuit. So my voltage drop over my first resistor plus my voltage drop over the second resistor plus my voltage drop over the third resistor. And if there's more, uh, will be equal to my total voltage. So I know that the, the three light bulbs here are going to use the nine volts. Um, they're identical, so they're going to end up using the voltage evenly. Uh, sometimes this isn't true, but since we, uh, I mean, it's always true if it's identical, but sometimes if you have different resistors, they use different amount of, of your voltage. But in this case, they're identical, so we can say that the voltage is going to be split evenly for each of our resistors. So uh, in doing this, we can use Ohm's Law to figure out our resistance. So we could do the totals first. So my total resistance is going to be equal to my voltage divided by my current. Right? This is Ohm's Law just rearranged for resistance. My total voltage is 9 divided by my resistance, which is 0.5. Excuse me, my current, which is 0.5, gives me a resistance total for this circuit of 18 ohms. So I'm going to put that in my chart. And like I was saying earlier, they're identical. So each one is going to be one, a third of 18. You could use also the individual resistance uh, voltage and current to find your resistance. Or you could just take 18 and divide it by 3, which will end up with 6 ohms for each of these resistors. I also wanted to show you 
quickly how to write this out uh, in a line because when we look at complex circuits, we're going to need to simplify our circuit. So from the positive terminal to the negative terminal, if I want to write this out, uh, it's just going to be in a straight line. So one, two, three. So I'm going to start at the positive terminal of my battery and I'm going to have my three light bulbs and I'm going to end at the negative terminal of my battery. So for this, I'm starting with nine volts. Over my first light bulb, I use three volts. So running through in this section of wire, I have six volts. Over my second, uh, second light bulb, I use up three more volts. So running through this section of wire, I have three volts. And then over my last light bulb, I'm using my last amount of voltage, which leaves me with no volts going back to the negative terminal of my battery.